In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions eight categories of those who he loves. And today, we're going to talk about al-muhsineen, the doers of excellence, the people who are excellent, those who are constantly striving for goodness. Five times Allah Ta'ala says, Allah yuhibbul muhsineen, Allah loves the doers of excellence. So the question is, how can we make our deeds excellent? Ibn Abbas, anhu, he has an interesting statement where he says, لا يتم المعروف إلا بثلاثة تعجيله وتصغيره عنده وستره فإنه إذا عجله هنأه وإذا صغره عظمه وإذا ستره تممه. A good deed doesn't reach excellence except with three qualities: hastening, minimizing, and hiding. If he hastens to it, he makes it pleasing to Allah. If he minimizes it, as in minimizes it to himself, he multiplies it to Allah. And if he hides it, he's refined it to perfection. Therefore, we should rush instead of procrastinate, minimize instead of becoming arrogant about our good deeds, and hide it, hide our good, in order to ensure that we're not doing it for anybody else. I want you to ask yourself the following question. Why do people love watching sports if essentially they're arbitrary? I mean, the fact of the matter is putting a ball in a net doesn't actually accomplish anything. So why is it that we're so obsessed as a culture with watching sports. Because they get to witness hard work and discipline in action. Because perfecting a craft, regardless of how arbitrary it is, is ultimately admirable. It's because they get to witness drive, determination towards a goal, and we're hardwired to find pleasure in conquering difficult goals. And ultimately it's because we get to witness teamwork, and we all secretly crave being part of a group working hard for a common goal. So I want you to ask yourself, this following question, when was the last time you worked for Allah's sake just as hard as an athlete works for his team? Final thought that I want to leave you with is this. We know that the Prophet ﷺ defined Ihsan with the following words. He ﷺ said, أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهِ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يراك. That you worship Allah as if you are seeing Him. For though you don't see Him, He indeed, He verily sees you. So. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us more conscious of Him so that we'll be motivated to do good deeds sincerely for His sake and so that we can reach the status of those who are excellent and that ultimately we can be of those who Allah loves. Jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.